Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another day in my life, basically. That is what today is going to be. However, I'm going to focus it on the content side of things on my end. So I get countless questions all the time asking, like, how can I kind of show how I film stuff both in the gym and also at home for like my try on hauls and stuff. So today, I'm going to basically show you how I do that. I'm going to put you behind the camera. So there's going to be a camera filming, a camera filming me <laughs> today, both in the gym and at home. So I'm just going to kind of show you how I set things up, what camera I use and everything like that, and how I do things kind of on my phone. I do usually film in the gym with a camera, not this one, but my other one. But today I'm going to be filming on my phone. So yeah, I'm also going to show you how I kind of edit my content as well and what apps I use and everything like that. So I hope you find it useful. It is highly requested, as I said. So yeah, let me know if you enjoy this kind of video and if you want to see more things like this. But as you will have seen, I've done my little morning routine. I've put my sheets in the wash this morning. I did all my skincare and everything like that. I'm wearing a brand new outfit, which I will show you. And I just had breakfast. I just need to brush my teeth. But yeah, let me show you this outfit. It'll already be live by the time you're watching this. But it's the new all day lounge collection from Honor. So I am wearing the v-neck sweatshirt and the cargo joggers in black. Don't know if you can really see the cargo detail. There you go. Um, and honestly, this is the most flattering tracksuit. I have ever worn. I personally love a v-neck and obviously this is cropped too. When I get to the gym I'm actually going to tuck it under my sports bra a little just so that it is even more cropped. But yeah, these joggers too. I'm absolutely obsessed. Also look at the logo in. I am just obsessed with this design logo. It's kind of similar tones on the colours so as you can see it's like a cool toned logo and here as well. However, on the cool brown colour of the tracksuit, it's more like a taupe logo. So the kind of tones are all very similar with regards to the actual pieces and the logos, but I am just literally obsessed. There's also Mellow Soft, which is launching with the All Day Lounge. As I'm saying, this will all already be live once you watch this video, it will have gone live on Thursday. So if you wanna shop any of this new stuff, then the link is in my description to support me but we also have mellow soft as i said i am doing a try on haul later and i'm going to show you but these are the new as it says in the title soft t-shirts honestly these are the softest tops i've ever felt in my life like they honestly they like they slip out my hands they're so buttery and soft we've got a white one which i'm absolutely obsessed with we've got coal we've got a new brand new color khaki got black um, and we've got Spice as well here, this one. Um, but yeah, as I said, I will do a try on haul later of both the All Day Lounge and Mellow Soft. But first up, we're going to be training glutes and hammies this morning. So I'm going to take you along and as I said, I'm going to show you how I film it. Alright guys, I've just got to the gym and I'm just going to basically kind of explain how I do my whole camera setup sort of thing instead of doing it whilst I'm in the gym because... I don't want to do that in the gym, but I'll show you in the gym, but I'm going to explain now. So I basically usually use my camera. So I've got a separate tripod for my camera and my phone. This is my camera tripod. So I literally just put, I'll show you it. By the way, the camera that I use for the gym is a Canon EOS RP. Here it is. I don't actually use this lens. This is my vlogging lens. This is the lens that I use for filming in the gym. If you're wanting um, a lens that is really high quality, and it just kind of gives you the effect of kind of like a blurring in the background, everything like that, and you and it just looks really good. You want more of a zoomed in lens. So this is 49mm lens, and that means it'll be really zoomed in. The only negative with that is I have to put my camera pretty far away from me for me to be kind of in it. Otherwise, I'm just way too zoomed in. I can't vlog with this, hence, because if I held this camera here like this, it would literally be focused like on my eyes and my nose because it's like so zoomed in. But that is what I use to fill my workouts and then this is what I use to vlog with if I'm not vlogging with you, the Canon G7X. So this is a 10 to 18 mil lens. So the smaller the lens number, the more zoomed out it'll be. This lens can actually give like a fisheye lens. So I'll show you, you can see there. So if I zoom out, you see that's like a fisheye sort of thing. And then can zoom in 
and then that's the most it zooms in and then that's just normal but yeah as i said i don't film in the gym with this one because it's not as good quality as my other one but what i was gonna say is the way that i put my camera onto my tripod i'm really sorry by the way i don't know where this tripod's from i got it so so long ago like years ago when i used to film my makeup videos um but it comes with this little attachment thing which is what is usually on here and you can screw this onto the bottom part of your camera and then all i do is oh do you want to juggle this go like this open that so it's open and then i slot the camera in if that made any sense and then ah oh, just stab myself and then that is securely in there and then obviously to Okay, this is really awkward to do in the car, but this is obviously landscape now. So this is what I used to film for YouTube. If I'm doing Instagram, I just move this around and then you can do portrait. And I get asked quite a few questions like when I'm filming for YouTube and um, Instagram, like what how I film it. And I honestly just do one set um, in landscape and then one set in portrait. I don't do one set... I don't do like one set in like landscape and then edit it to be portrait because I don't really know how to do that to be honest so I just film one set as I want it to be landscape and then one set portrait bit annoying but it is what it is um but this is a really good camera I highly recommend I actually bought it off my stepbrother because he is a photographer and he was selling it so I was like go on then go on then mate I'll have it and then for my phone I use this so it's much smaller and as you can see you have these little levers that you just unclip and you can do adjust the size and stuff like that um, and i got this off amazon i will link it below but i highly recommend this one i had one before that it was just so wank it was so shit and um, but this one actually like securely holds your phone in there as you can see because in my old tripod like my phone just used to like slip out and it just used to literally fall out whilst i was mid filming my sets and it was so embarrassing we won't talk about that um but yeah highly recommend this off amazon and it also comes with a little electronic like picture taker that you can like a little tiny bluetooth thing connect it to the bluetooth on your phone and then if you want to just if say if you're taking pictures by yourself you can just kind of hold it somewhere discreetly and like keep pressing it and it takes loads of pictures for you but enough shit to chattering i'm gonna it's, it's pretty much as simple as that i literally just set it up and then that's it like i think people think that it's way more complicated than it actually is but i do understand that filming in the gym is obviously very um very intimidating and it does come with time i'll tell you that i still get like a little bit nervous and a little bit um a little bit funny about it say the gym's really busy not even just for the fact that you're filming but just because say it's really busy you don't want to be in someone's way and my tripod's obviously really big so like i kind of look like an obnoxious prick at times but you know it's gotta be done it's my job at the end of the day um and i think if people are looking at you mostly people are looking out of curiosity because anytime anyone's ever come up to me and said like well like, what are you filming for like why are you filming they've not said it in a horrible way they've just obviously they've just genuinely wondered why i was filming and then i explained to them and they were like oh that's really good like you know people are usually really nice about it and if they're not then they need to mind their own business <laughs> as i said i'm gonna go train glutes and hamstrings and as i said i'm filming it on my phone so i will film my phone on my camera so you can see um but it is really just as simple as that you've just kind of got to find your right angles and everything like that um but obviously every gym's different with positioning and everything like that so just find i put my phone basically in the same position every time now for the same exercises so you've just got to find what what's best what works for you best and what you look best in what angle and stuff like that and yeah it takes time as i said so just be patient with it
Right guys, sorry about this lighting, but I hope you found that a little bit helpful. Obviously that was only gym content wise however i'm gonna go home now and film this haul for the new honor stuff that is launching this week and um, so i'm gonna kind of try and show you how i film my hauls as well and um, but overall had a pretty good session um, at the moment, to be honest, I feel like I've just kind of hit a block, like my motivation is just not there whatsoever, which is completely normal. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of powering, th powering through at the minute and just kind of pushing through it because the motivation is just not there. So if you're feeling like this, you're not alone, promise. Um, but yeah, I'm going to head home and I will get on with filming my haul. All right, guys, I'm just about to put some makeup on for my little haul and then I will catch up with you. But I might just put you on a little time lapse while I do my makeup just because it obviously is a process of part of the it's part of the filming process basically. So I thought I'd put you on a little bit of a time lapse while I do it and I find these quite satisfying personally. So yeah, enjoy. <laughs> makeup all done and ready to film i actually straightened my hair this time because i just could not be bothered to air wrap my hair i usually do curl it but i thought i would go for a straight moment this time but i've got all my fits here so these are our mellow soft pieces i'll give you a little bit of a close-up now as i said i'm not sure what stock will be looking like right now on these but if you do want to have a look then i do have a link in the description but yes so we've got the logo at the bottom here and as you can see we've got the contouring kind of going in on the waist to make you look extra snatched it's kind of so this is called like the dna of the honor pieces and if you have lots of pieces from honor you'll you'll notice that the tops and everything like that tie in with the leggings and the shorts and everything like that so that it all kind of joins together for example like that and it's just a super flattering design honestly i don't know if you'll, you won't be able to see through the screen but honestly this is the most lightweight comfiest buttery feel material ever it's obviously very thin it's very lightweight perfect for spring summer um but disclaimer i did train in the khaki top the other day and you could see lots like you could see sweat through it a lot i will put a picture uh, a video on the screen but just to make you aware if you're not bothered about that then fine because i'm not bothered but just wanted to make you aware maybe maybe you'd be better opting for the black just in case but yeah i wear an extra small in all these tops i would say that so this is not my true size my true size is a small i could fit in both however these are a little bit more of a tighter more fitted fit however i'd fit perfectly fine in a small too but they are super super stretchy so you can get away with sizing down if you do want the more tight look but i will say with the white one it's quite see-through so if you get in the white one i would maybe not recommend sizing down just as you can see there is quite see-through um i personally don't have too big of an issue i wore a sage sports bra underneath the white one the other day and you could see it slightly but it's not anything major major in my opinion but if you're getting white i would probably stay safe and stick to your usual size but yeah and then we've got coal as well not worn that one yet and then we've also got black too so yeah i'm gonna go put all these pieces on now i've also got the so this is a new color at honor so this is cool brown in the lounge so here we have the cargo joggers and as you can see what i was saying earlier we have a very similar tone on tone logo so we've got more of like a deep taupe dark deep taupe kind of logo on the cool brown and it kind of matches together and then with the black we've got more of a gray silver logo obviously cool tone on cool tone and then warm tone on warm tone 
but yeah i'm gonna do the try on now and i'm gonna show you kind of how i set things up uh, obviously i'm filming for like instagram so i want it to be portrait so i'm gonna just put my camera on my tripod i have to already changed the lens to the right one that i want my 50 mil one and i obviously adjust this and it's now a portrait with this tripod you can kind of extend the legs like this you'll be able to find any tripod like this on amazon i just really cannot remember where i got this one from i've had it years i probably did get it on amazon just make sure you find one that you know has the attachment for your camera but i've been enjoying filming in this room recently because it's really bright and i personally like to do it against this white wall here so what i do is i turn my camera on and then i just kind of play about with the settings so i don't want it on too dark and i don't want it on too light and as you can see this screen is really blue at the moment so i'm going to change the filter on it just so that it's a little bit more warm toned that should be okay but i like to do a little test run so i'm gonna just go stand over there and kind of see what it looks like and obviously as you can see my viewfinder is at the top there so i can kind of see when i'm in frame etc but i'm just gonna see what that looks like so i'm just gonna press play and have a look see what that's looking like so I'm actually happy with that lighting, um, I don't mind that, so I'm gonna keep it on that setting and yeah, let's get filming. Sorry, the bath is just running, but I'm also going to show you how I kind of upload all of this stuff onto my laptop. Obviously, the stuff that I filmed in the gym today for my Instagram was on my phone, so I don't need to like import that into my laptop or anything. But I will show you the app that I use to edit it on. So what you'll need is one of these things that plugs into your laptop, whatever laptop you have. I have this Lenovo one and it just plugs into the side of my laptop there and then I'm not going to take it out of my camera now for obvious reasons but then I just put my memory card into this bit here and it all just kind of comes into my imports on my laptop here so this is stuff that I have recently imported from my camera and that is just personally how I do it and then obviously the videos that I use for YouTube I just drag those into my iMovie video and that's how it works but I'll show you how I do my videos for Instagram so I use an app called Splice this is what it looks like it's that one with the S that's the logo for it it's such a good app I personally find I've been using it for ages and I love it so it comes up with all your projects that you have created in the past so we're going to click new project and then i'm going to go on to videos and then i'm going to click the videos from today obviously today's workout and then you just click next create and then it just all uploads into one long video and then this is how i edit it so for example let's start it here so double click and then you click split and then you delete this part and that is basically what I do throughout the whole of the video to be able to get it obviously split up into the parts and have it all cut up as I do but that is the app that I use and also if I film on my camera and I want to get the stuff over to my phone I just airdrop the videos that I've imported to my camera to my phone airdrop usually does work for me sometimes I have to split the video up a little bit if it's too big but that is what works for me and yeah 
that is basically everything. Let me know if you have any questions. I also just wanted to say that if you do shop through my Honor Active teammate support link, I'd appreciate it so, so much. It really does help me out. It helps to support me and my relationship with Honor and everything like that. So yeah, please let me know if you do so that I can thank you. I really, really, really appreciate it. Okay guys, that was it for the try on reel. I hope you, well, the try on behind the scenes. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that you found this video useful. I'm going to actually conclude it here just because I'm not really creating any more content today other than filming some stories for the launch this week. But yeah, please let me know if you have any questions and please let me know if you did enjoy this kind of video and if you want more like this in the future and if you found it useful. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!